Let's make our mail envelopes more exciting. Hello and welcome to The Treasured Page. I'm Melanie and this is our quiet crafting space. Today I'm having a look at my mail envelopes, the thicker ones that you get through the door and they keep everything nice and flat. I've got a few here and I'm doing, I want to make them look nice for happy mail. So I've got a whole load to do here and I just thought I'd bring you along for the ride because it is something fun to create and certainly a project that if you're not sure, if you're in between projects or you're just not sure what direction to go, it can get your brain back into that creative mindset and that's exactly what I need to do today. So I've got one here which is a bit bigger than an A5, they call it A1. And what I want to do, that that's going to fit my um, what I need perfectly. And I've got these sort of sizes so I'm going to cut them in half and see if I can recreate another envelope and then just make make the the envelopes that I need. So I need nine of these and I've got to create them out of these. So what I'll do is I'll cut them down on the guillotine um, and if not I'll use a nice strong pair of scissors. Okay, so I'm just sticking down a piece of paper to the table so it doesn't skid about while I'm doing this and just um, keeps the table a little bit protected if I'm going to be gluing. So what I've done here is I've chopped them in half. They're now looking like that. So they have got a cl closure there, which is okay. And then all I'm going to do is put um, some parcel tape along there and just decorate everything. Just get that off as best we can. I've done most of them. But there's always one, isn't there, that you miss. So that's that one. And then they're good. So they're good. And then this one, I haven't even, you know, that one's still got the closure on it, really. So that's okay. So we just want to strip, we just want to strip down there to repair some. And then it's just another way to recycle your par parcel envelopes when you get them through the door. Um, there's many you could turn that into a journal if you wanted to but uh, for today we're just looking to make some nice happy mail so for this you might need some tape you might need some scissors and you're going to need scraps of paper glue and I should be using PVA glue that's wet glue wet school glue and I shall be using some gesso I think and the whole reason I mean this is going to look like a, a real lot of steps here and I'm doing it for my own pleasure I can't tell you that I'm just doing it to sit down settle down unwind from the day and slap some paint about that's really what I'm going to be doing here. all right so this is my envelope it's now sealed down one side and we've got the opening there so this we know is going to be sturdy enough to go through the post and not have a problem and I've got that edge sealed down so that's okay. So for this I'm going to use some PVA glue, I'm going to have a paintbrush, I shall probably pull in some gesso and um, book page scraps, stickers, old digi kits, anything that is lying around that is just causing me chaos around the desk is going to be thrown at this Happy Mail project and make it really fun and vibrant. So without further ado, I am just going to put down some paint and spread that around. And then taking the brush, I'm just going to start covering it up like this. And this, that could just be white acrylic paint or any colour, old chalk paint, something like that. Gesso is what I'm using, white gesso. And because I've got quite a lot here, I'm going to take another one just here and just do that over here as well while we've got it. 
So it's just a little bit of fun. Just be silly. Have a little bit of silliness, a little bit of a play. If you're a creative person and you maybe have other roles in your life where you just don't get to be creative, then this is this is fun because we're all going to be sending something to somebody at some point within the year. So you could make a whole batch of these all lined up ready. And particularly with all the holidays coming up and you know especially in America with your Thanksgiving and you you know you it's a real celebratory time to connect with people isn't it just as much as it is at the end of the year or anybody any faith any religion any holiday you know everybody's got their celebratory days within the year and we want and the purpose you know one of the main fun things about those times those special holiday times is to connect with people friends and oh and how you know how about that friend that you just used to be in your life and added value to your life and they're a real one of those people that you just you don't want to lose touch with but life has just taken you in different directions and you just don't see them anymore well this is perfect you know this is just a little perfect envelope even if it's going to contain something fairly normal like a greeting card or or something just maybe this year you could just spice it up with some real fun art collage on the front and so that we <laughs> you'll probably think oh okay i better get in touch because um that's odd <laughs> yeah good <laughs> maybe that's your intention maybe you send them something so strange <laughs> i think maybe you, you could send them something so offbeat so out of character that they want to get in touch just to work out if you're all right <laughs> or what what possessed you to send them a sticker of a fish <laughs> you could do that that's what i would do and I, um so we th thank you for the package uh a bit peculiar everything all right <laughs> yeah everything's fine couldn't be better i've now taken to putting um paint all over everything in my downtime and um I'm no longer the serious person you took me for. <laughs> I am now forever going to be having fun in my quiet crafting space. Uh, where where everything makes sense, where I get to be free and play. I'm just I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna play. I'm gonna have more time for me. And um, in doing so, I'll involve you as well. Okay. So that one has got double gessoed. Right, the only thing about gesso is it doesn't, um, you know, it's not going to mask the text unless you start putting lots of layers on it. You don't want to waste all of your paint for it, but you just want to get a little, it's just another idea, isn't it? bit of a workout for your arm as well so if you do, yeah do a batch of these and then you're all ready aren't you for for the special holidays coming up whether that's an autumn theme or a winter theme you could put a theme to it or just just don't just put just put the random stuff down just see what happens And remember, there's no rules, so you could be painting in black if you wanted to, or you could paint in any colour, fuchsia pink, whatever whatever paint that you've got. But I've got the white gesso because that was slightly more inexpensive and what I had to hand. But actually, I'm uh, thinking about it. A green, yeah, maybe green. Let's add a little bit of green, see what happens. Maybe put it on there. Just see what happens. Okay, interesting. That 
that's quite that's quite fun for Christmas, isn't it, to have that with the green going on. So that's that's a bit more Christmassy that one, I think. That's good. I like that. That's interesting. What do I want to convey here? I mean, we've done, we've done, uh, so red and green's going to be Christmas, and I don't want to do Christmas at the moment. So how about we want an orange? Oh, blue. Maybe a blue. Oh, what else we got? That's a nice one. Ah, how about some orangey colours? Okay. What's my going to be my front? This is my front. So now I'm thinking let's do an autumn one with some more sort of autumn colours. So I, you know, you can get mail art and I am on a quest to get a raised eyebrow from my post lady because she's, oh, I didn't do that one. Because she is, um, she's new she's a new post lady to me it's a whole new post office i now go to a new post office i used to go to the big post office in the town that's fine been there for years know the ladies um they recognize me so they're quite chatty and there's a bit of rapport because being british we've been there for years so i'm familiar to them so therefore they feel like they can share a few things and we have a little joke and everything's quite happy and nice and and they would probably say something nice about my parcels but um the the new post office where i'm now going because it's just a little bit easier for me to get to and um it's quite a nice nice one to get to because I can cycle there which I feel like I'm then being a bit more healthy so I can cycle on my bike to the post office with my parcels and I go past quite a nice leafy field and you know I go through a leafy tree lane which is nice and um, I go past the gardener's allotment and I can just have a look at what's being grown there. It's just nice. It's just pleasant. It's a pleasant thing to do. I enjoy it. And so the new lady there, well, she's new to me, so I'm new to her. Uh, she's just grumpy. <laughs> and I think because we're having such problems with our Royal Mail service at the moment where they're striking... Um, because they're, they're not happy with the amount that they're being paid. So they're, out, they're going on strike. Um, the whole thing is a little bit, you know, difficult. And it's just sort of think, oh, well, let's see if we can just interject a little bit of fun with our fun parcels. And I'm going to have a go at orange. And see what that does. These are like sunsets, aren't they? So we're just swiping back and forth, just doing back and forth. Nothing complicated. Just mixing the white and the orange together in a sweeping back and forth. Okay, that one's done. Um, some, it's like an ochre, is this what this is called? This is yellow ochre and orange. This is just using up paint, you know, I don't use it enough. So let's use it and just give me some of those autumn, autumn leaf turning to different colours, just that feel. Maybe we want a bit of red in there if we're going to do that. Oh, we'll bring red in elsewhere. Right, that's that one. Bit of this. Let's have a bit of green, which will make brown. Green and orange will make brown. 
So we go with the orange, bring it down to green, and if we mix them in any further, they'll make a horrible colour, so we don't want that. That's it. It's a nice one. Right, what else? Do a bit more. And then this one is going to, I'm going to have the same. I'll have another green down here, like uh, green fields. And then a bit of um, that. And then a bit of that. So we go green, then we go orange, sorry, yellow, then orange, smashing. Ooh, and then that one as well. Oh, she won't know what's hit her, will she? She sees that. Post lady. Grumpy post lady. Let's see if we can cheer her up. Right. Oh, haven't done that. Oh, I have to come back to that one. So the blue of the sky, blue of the sky, sky is blue, sometimes we get a little bit of that in the sky because, uh, I don't know why, why would we have that in the sky? Oh, because of sunset, that's why. So in, in that case we might want a bit of that in the sky and a bit of that in the sky and then we have... Green, whoopsie, green is down because we have green fields in England. So good, we're sufficiently covered in paint, that means we're having fun. Stick the lids back on before it all dries out. And then, oh yeah, maybe it's a, maybe it's a, maybe we'll come back to that one. Right, let's go with this. So this is stuck to the paper. And this one wants to drop more white because it's all going. Okay, so uh, white. That's it. And then green. For the. Oh, this one's moody. This one's a bit more moody. That's it. Okay. Fun, isn't it? What else? This one. Oh, I don't think there's much blue. Let's have a bit more blue. Right, blue. That's it. That's better. Down we come for the green. I like that one. Okay, so that's good. Let's have another look. That's it. That's better. Sunset. <laughs> Sunset. I don't think I have much blue on that one. Getting all arty now. I had no intention of doing this. I thought I was doing collage and now we're doing... Now we're doing sort of artscapes. Good. It's fun. Bit of mood. What was this one? Oh, that's glue. That's it. Bit of sky. I think 
we'd better stop there um, and let them dry. So I was getting into that. That was really good. I really enjoyed that. I really found that great. So the trick is to keep everything um, wet, otherwise it dries out. So you just want to keep that surface wet and then you, you can move the paint about a bit more. So now because this is paint the paint now because the paint's wet, I just pop a little bit of blue there, although that's really dark. Um Oh dear. I'll have to move quick otherwise it doesn't it dries so quickly this so you sort of just go back and forth so don't think about it just go back and forth and that is your moody sky oh my goodness that was so much fun okay guys so just to recap we've gone from this Amazon packaging in the A3 size and I cut it in half and so I then taped down one uh, one side of the two halves so they both ended up with tape on them and then I have decorated them with acrylic paint and white gesso and this is the results so we have got some really fun scenes of just some colour washes going on and these packages are now happy and sunny and bright and vibrant and going places aren't going they? around the world and just delivering a little bit of happiness and so what I'll do is I'll probably put a little bit of embellishment in the corner and then that's where the stamp or wherever what the whatever the label is will go and there, that is the happy mail so it's got that on the other side so I'll probably put something over there and uh, that's that's how they're looking so far so I just wanted you to see that and uh, how you can do that how easy that was just a flick of paint it's really got me in back into the mood of wanting to create art and using these colors that's sort of a nod to the autumnal feel the full colors and I've even started to pick out some fabrics and things with these orangey tones so I'm starting to move move into a, a place where I want to be with some autumn crafts and just getting into the spirit of the season so that's what oh but you know that works for the summer as well doesn't it so it doesn't matter but these just a fun way of recycling and repurposing the packaging that comes through your door and how you can then just transform that back into a slimline envelope and off it goes again, whizzing around the world to bring a little bit of happiness and joy to somebody else. And that is where I'm going to put the, the happy mail for the ladies that won the prizes. So these are going all out to the people that won the 2000 subscriber prizes. And I have to say, they are... That's a nice one. And I have to say... The emails that everybody um, got in so quick to say that they were that they were a winner was so phenomenal. What a what a brilliant bunch you are! So I got all of the emails. There is just one person remaining. So eight eight of the goodie bags have been claimed, and we're just waiting for one more. So if you've had an email from me to say thank you and that to confirm that I've received your email, it's not you. You're fine. It's okay, Margie. Don't worry. I got it. I've seen your email. I've got everybody's email, so that's fine. Um, yeah, just one one is missing. So if if you if you're not sure, go back and have a look at the video. Um, I'll leave the link below for the winner's announcement and if it's you get your get your email in and let me know just double check that you've got the email address right and make sure you send that off to me so that I can send you one of these uh, parcels out and if not on Friday we will be re-allocating uh, the one that didn't get claimed so that uh, there's another chance there at the moment so another chance for the pack just double check that it's not you on the subscriber video on the 2000 subscriber winner announcement video that is linked below 
and uh, just check that you haven't won something that you would have already quite liked to have had. So yes, the the pack is the packs are like this. They're going out, and that's that's uh, needs to be claimed. Actually, not that one. Uh, Love and light. I have found you some other things, other papers that are totally okay to go out to Australia. So thank you for everybody who wrote in and said yes. You know that is a problem to send out papers with petals and things in it, which I knew anyway. I did know, but I just thought I'd double check. Um, so that's okay because I found other things, and um, I'm sure you'll be very pleased with them. And I've got, got uh, everybody's going to get a um, a sheet of this paper from 1906. This was it's an encyclopedia of sorts. It's a home educator. <laughs> and there's a little extract there that I'm going to read out next time when I'm a little bit more awake. But that is all about the Swiss Alps. So um, that's lovely. So there's a, a sheet of that in everybody's pack and that. Uh, I forgot to say that it was from 1906, so it's over 100 years old. Um, so that's, that will be with you. OK, so do check whether it's you and uh, let me know. And if not, I will give you another call out on Wednesday. And uh, after that, I'm afraid I shall be putting it out to everybody else for another chance because we need those packs to get to loving craft rooms or craft tables or craft nooks or trays or, <laughs> or places where people can can make something fun okay so it's quite late okay so these are still a little bit damp I feel like I just need to leave them a little bit longer and that'll allow the paper to stop warping and then I can decorate them but I'm going to do that tomorrow I think I'll leave the video there because um it's been quite long and I just, I need to go to sleep and I will pick this up tomorrow and we'll just decorate them up. But that, is, as a Happy Mail idea, is a pretty good colour wash. You could definitely pick out some red tones for Christmas if you wanted to do something like that. Or they're just, you know, that's a nice scene. So you saw how to do it, just some blobs, blobs of paint and, sw and swipe it across. And, uh, and then just get yourself something a little bit more artistic and uh, bring a bit of joy to your happy mail and then you can put all the fun stamps and stickers on it as well if you want to set it to a theme and uh, just really bring a little bit of of joy so we'll do that we'll do those tomorrow okay guys so i'm gonna leave it there so thank you so much for joining me and all your wonderful comments as always um mwah, thank you everyone you really really do uh bring a wonderful energy to the channel with your comments and uh, your feedback so that's okay so we're going to leave it there okay guys so thanks for watching and above everything else just slow down and make crafting time for you bye bye now